have you start seated on your mat and you're going to balance right here on the backs of the sit bones, the front of the tailbone. And I want you to sit up really tall. So you can hold onto the backs of your legs like I'm doing and just extend through the spine. So it feels like the crown of my head is reaching up to the ceiling. And then arms reach forward, hands are parallel to the shoulders. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up. And all you're gonna do here is basically feel like the armpits opening and feel the back extensor firing up. That's really what we're going for right now. And lower down. And because it is Pilates, you're continually toning your abs. So even though I might not be cueing you to suck your belly in, keep thinking about drawing in the space beneath your belly button. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Let's do three more. Inhale. And exhale. That's three. Inhale. And exhale. That's two. And then one more time. Inhale. And exhale. That's one. So we're going to stay seated. You are going to reach back and clasp the backs of your legs right now. Keep the back extensors fired up. Extend your right leg. If this is too much, you know, you don't have to fully extend it if, that's, if that feels like too much for you, no problem. You can just extend as much as you're um, able to. And we're just going to alternate here a few times. So let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down. Uh, actually, let's keep holding on to the backs of the legs. And we're doing the C curve again. And I think we've done the C curve every week that we've been together. So it's like, this is one of those like you're gonna get punched in the gut. So you're just gonna kind of lower down. And we're really trying to kind of round here in the, the low belly, in the low back. So, you know, obviously like most of us can really um, round the upper backs, but we wanna just kind of round the low back. You can lower about halfway down or so, and then come back up and come all the way into the extended spine again. So all the way back up. And then exhale down. Again, you can use your hands to help guide you and just tap the waistline on the back, uh, or on the mat rather, and then come all the way back up and lengthen the back. We're gonna do three more. Lower down, tap the waistline on the mat, and come on up and extend. That's three. And again, two, then up. Last time, you're gonna lower down. Um, lower down, so again, like you're just about on the waistline, um, and then come up an inch and down an inch, and up an inch and down an inch, but it's an isometric movement. You're hardly moving, so the core is super engaged this entire time, and let's pick up the pace a little, and we're gonna do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. So it just feels like a tiny little crunch. You're barely moving just a couple of inches. This is four, three, two, and one. And then lower yourself all the way down so that you're reclined. And that was just to kind of tone the abs a little bit and start to warm up. From here, hey, happy. Pilates time, you go away. No, go, you gotta go. Okay, you can't be, keep going. Go. Sorry. The, the dogs don't move the entire day, and then as soon as they come to class, they all get busy. Okay. So you're lying down, and what I want right now is um, you have the natural curve of your back, right? Like, so you can probably all slide your fingers right here, right around your waistline. Just that's like your, your natural posture if you were standing. And all we're gonna do is a little tilt. So you're going to tone the low abs, hold the pubic bone up to the belly button so that the low back is now lying flat on the mat. It's totally imprinted. And then you're gonna drop the tailbone heavy again. And you're back to that um, natural curve of the back. So it's not, it's not very big, you're not overdoing it. It's basically like how your posture would be except for blind. And we're just tilting the pelvis a few more times. This is basically just to get you warmed up a little bit. Um, but also, as you flatten the low back into the mat, so this tilt here, where the pubic bone is going to the belly button, and the belly button is pulling into the spine, the low abs initiate that movement. And I want you to think of the low abs doing that, that tilting of the pelvis. Let's just do three more. And two. And then one more time. 
And now we're going to build this up to a bridge pose, um, also called the pelvic curl. And there's no poofy chest here. We're just doing that same movement. So we go from a neutral spine, which is when there's a little bit of space between your waistline and the mat. And then we curl it. So it's the pubic bone to the belly button, the belly button to the spine. And then you're peeling your hips and your vertebra up off the mat one bone at a time. And when you're up, when you're in the bridge pose, again, no poofy chest, it's basically a diagonal line from the shoulders to the knees. Push your shoulders into the mat, really hug the diagonal line, and then roll back down one bone at a time all the way to the end. And at the very end, your tailbone is heavy and you return to neutral. We're gonna pick up the pace here a little bit. So it's exhale, tailbone to pubic bone, pubic bone to belly button, belly button to the spine, peel up, find the diagonal line. Knees are hugging in toward each other. Everything's hugging the midline. And then bone by bone by bone, you roll back down. Tailbone heavy at the end. And again, exhale up. Pause at the top. Exhale down. Pause at the bottom. Exhale up. And when we're pausing, we're inhaling. Pause. So let's just stay here for an extra second up at the top. Pull the heels back toward you. And right now, like this is a great example of how the back side of your body does a lot of work. Front side of the body is opening, back side of the body is what's lifting you up, lower back down, one bone at a time. And so I'm guessing you all felt that, but just in case you didn't, we'll do it again. Come on, roll up, bone by bone. So when we're in this up position, knees are reaching away from you, heels are pulling back, inner thighs are drawing in. They don't touch, but they're in line with your hips. So you should feel glutes, hamstrings, and the back all working together. And then we're gonna lower back down. And now we're gonna do a few variations of this um, to continue to tone the, the back side of your body. All right, um, come on back up that same way. So tailbone to pubic bone, pubic bone to the belly button, belly button to the spine, come up. And lower just about halfway down with the hips and up and lower about halfway down, and up, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and let's do five, four, three, two, and one, and lower all the way back down, one bone at a time. So it actually should feel pretty nice on the way down, like a tiny bit of a massage, we're gonna do that again. Roll back up, one bone at a time. Come into your, your bridge position, your pelvic curl. Same alignment that we've been talking about. Knees pull forward, heels pull back. But this time you're gonna to switch to your tippy toes so your heels are lifted. And you might find that you wanna walk your toes in a little bit to um, keep your line. From here, drop one heel down and up. And down and up. So it's like running in place, like prancing and you're alternating feet. So as one heel comes up, the other goes down, and let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower back down, one bone at a time. Tailbone is again heavy at the end. And let's come up one more time for one more round here. So peel it back up. You're back in the bridge position. This time, what I want you to do is extend the right leg up and over your hip, which means you really have to push into the left leg. And lower this whole shape down an inch and up an inch and down an inch and up an inch. So it's, it's a, like a single leg bridge here. And let's pick up the pace a little and we're gonna do five four, keep pushing up, three. You should feel a ton of work in the back side of, in the legs, in the back side of your body. And one more, and we're not gonna rest. Put the right leg down, lift your hips up. Just, you can see your pelvis, check your own alignment here. You want them to be level. Take the left leg up, lower down. So the work is in the right leg and up, and down and up, and down and up, and down and up, and five four, three, 
two, and one. And lower the leg down, and then lower your back down. All the way back down, tailbone heavy.